goals can help you to track your progress by being able to see your estimated versus actual results. To create a new goal, you can go to Sales and select Goals. Then we'll select New. We'll first name this goal. And now we'll designate the owner of this goal to be Bill Gardner. We've also got to set this goal metric, which will be what the goal will be measured by. We'll choose to look up more records. And we'll select Revenue, but I'll double click on it. And we can see that it has two roll up fields. And these are just the estimated and actual values for the goal that we're tracking. You can also notice that the metric type is amount, and amount returns an actual value while the count just returns the number of rows. So for revenue, it's more relevant to choose amount. So I'll select revenue and press add. The time period for this goal will be the third quarter, so I can leave it as it is, and now I'll set the target revenue. We can now save this goal, and I'll recalculate. Okay, so once we click on actuals, we can see that it shows the progress of our goal. And once we activate this goal and start bringing in revenue, these numbers will change. So I can save and close. To activate this goal, we'll select it, and then press activate, and yes, we'll choose to activate it. We can also see the target for this goal, as well as the percentage achieved. And that's how you can create a goal.